Hi guys, this is Charlie with Boxing Focus, and uh, yeah, you went junior versus Tudinov, and that was a savage fight. That was a real brutal fight. Amazing how tough Tudinov is. Unbelievable that 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 guy, that guy is. Um, he earns a lot of respect, I'm sure, from boxing fans across the world for his. For, for how how he stood up to to the onslaught the the uh, the beating that Ivan Junior laid on him, I mean his face was an absolute mess at the end of the fight. It's just uh, I, I mean my concern going into the fight was that Chudnov wasn't going to wasn't going to um, exploit the technical flaws in Ivan Junior's game, and that turned out to be the case. You know it just turned it was a bit a bit messy at first because Ivan Junior was clinching a lot and holding a lot it was a bit of a strange one because the referee basically was like well I'll let you hold but I'll let him punch you to the back of the head <laughs> it was kind of a you know, oh, well, I'll just let both infractions go and not do anything about it and the fight would be better off for uh, the referee to have you know, stamped out those two things but he didn't he let it go on and he let it go on and on and on and for some reason, waited until the minute until the end of the fight to actually stop it when it probably would have been done, <laughs> best done a bit earlier. But um, but the problem for Eubank Junior is none of his none of his technical flaws were, were exploited by Tudinov, and I don't mean exploited to the point of victory. But he, he needed to be in with somebody with a bit bit bit, bit of a uh, a more technical game, I think, in order to. To continue on the path he needs to be on in order to to compete at the very top level of the sport, because I think he has the talent. I really believe that he has the athletic talent. Well, he definitely has the athletic talent, and I think he's got the the um, the coordination, the skills, the the speed of movement, and the and the and the yeah you know, the brain, the ring IQ potentially to do it. But not 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 if he fights like that. Not if he fights like that. He cannot blast every guy out of the ring like that. There were times where his punch selection was shocking. And, and you know, he'd be throwing 20, 30 punch combinations to the head and Chudinov's hands are really high. His ribs are wide open. I don't recall Eubank Jr. throwing a single hook to the body for the entire fight. Not one. And, and it's like it's a punch he doesn't even have in his arsenal or something. And He would have made much easier work at Chudinov had he been going to the body much easier it would have been a much shorter fight but instead he's trying to blast this tough guy out of there with, with headshots and the occasional uppercut to the body and, and to Chudnov's credit he stood up to it for, for an awfully long time but really Eubank Jr. has got so much to work on he doesn't throw combinations and I know people will be like well he threw 20 punch combinations they're not combinations a flurry is not a combination you know, a flurry is just you know the speed flurry. I mean, you imagine you're sometimes doing speed flurries, kind of Sugar Ray Leonard style, or power punches where he's just going bang, 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 bang. They're not combinations. It's just him just hitting as hard as he can. A combination is like a one-two and an uppercut. You know, where where one punch leads to the other, where where, where it's a flow, where they're set up and, and they can be rattled off in quick succession, but they're precise. They're not. You know, just flapping punches like a a, a, a speedy flurry, where, where there's nothing on the shots. You know, I don't recall how, any, if any, real combinations thrown by Eubank Jr. in that fight, where he might go like one, two, and then hook to the body or something. He just doesn't seem to do it, and and that's fine against the Tudor. That's fine against, possibly even against Saunders. I think. Eubank Jr. on talent, on athleticism, beats Billy Joe Saunders in the rematch. But then he will get to the top level of the sport. Then he will get to the, the Golovkins of this world. And that won't cut it against Golovkin. Golovkin currently knocks Eubank Jr. out. You think of the other top middleweights in the world. He's just going to struggle against them. Because they won't be standing there for his power flurries. You know, and and they will pick him apart when he's he's. Uh, I mean, he, he, at times, Eubank Junior's movement looks world class. There was a moment in that fight, be a, on his highlight reel, where he made Tudor miss with a, a series of punches. Whilst Eubank Junior had his hands down, 
But then there were other times where he was getting caught with really basic shots because he's just kind of stood there in the pocket, you know, just looking to unload power punches. And then somebody like, I mean, Golovkin's the easy example. Golovkin would just absolutely exploit that. Peter Quillen would exploit that. These guys will knock Eubank Jr. out unless he starts putting the kind of wrinkles in his game that will make him harder to predict, that will, will, will enable him to unlock the defences of a guy like Chudnov without just blasting at him as hard as he can for 12 rounds. I mean, it was, a, it was an incredible feat of athleticism. Don't get me wrong, it was absolutely spectacular. But it was so much harder than it needed to be. All he had to had was hooks to the body. It's just one punch. And that fight is over in five rounds, four rounds. Well, maybe not four or five rounds because obviously there was a lot of clinching and messy work going on at the beginning of the fight. But sorry, and then, but, you know, once Eubank Jr. really got going, once, once Chudnov started to wear down, he adds those hooks to the body. Chudnov's guard comes down. The game's over very, very quickly. But instead, he's just blasting at this guy who's got his, you know, who's shelled up and tough. And it takes five rounds of doing that before before he finally gets some sympathy from the referee. <laughs> I mean, there's a, there's a great moment in the final round where where he went junior turns around thinking that the referee stopped it. The referee's not stopped it, and he just sort of goes like, "What the hell? <laughs> what, what's gonna?" What's going to happen in order for me to get the stoppage here? How tough is this guy? But, um, yeah, it was a savage fight and a spectacular fight. But as someone who's becoming a bit of a fan of Chris Eubank Jr., I do worry that these technical deficiencies are really going to cost him. Um, probably later rather than sooner. Like I say, I think on talent and, and athleticism... He gets past Billy Joe in the second fight. He saw, you know, once he was, once he he went up through the gears in the first fight, he was, he was the dominant fighter for for the final seven rounds. But, you know, Billy Joe does not represent the elite level of the sport, and, and he's going to get found out in against the Golovkin, in against the Peter Quillen, um, unless unless he starts really working on things, the basics, combinations. Uh, a stiffer jab and, and, and jab into the body and, and ways to stop somebody like Chudnov walking forward. You know, the, some of the clinching was messy. There was just there was just just an awful lot to still improve upon. But I'm a fan, so let's let's hope he does. This is Charlie with Boxing Focus on Eubank Junior versus Chudnov.